To send a newsletter through Member Hub, you would click on the communications module within the main dashboard, then click on newsletters. You will then see a list of all of the newsletters that have previously been sent by any admin within your site. You can copy any, you can also see that some were saved as a draft. To copy one that's already been created, you can just click copy. You can also view different campaigns that have been created or just click add message. When you click add message, you're gonna be prompted to either select a campaign that was already started or start a new one. When you start a new campaign, you can click edit name to change the name of your new campaign. And then you can also select which recipients you want to receive this message. As of right now, it's sending to 93 recipients, which it would be everyone in your site. If you wanted to send it specific contacts or roles or in so forth, you can filter that list and on um, who you want to receive it. You would then put in the subject for your campaign, your newsletter, and then click next. And then every newsletter comes with a, a layout that a, a selection of layouts that you would be able to choose from so that you can use that layout specifically for your newsletter. Let's do the basic one today. As we wait for the basic one to load, you, as you can see, it gives you some basic content already. You can also click and drag any of these different ones into the message to add more text box, or even if you wanted to upload an image, you can click and drag the image into it. Let's say you have some specific HTML you want to add, or even let's say you want to add another heading, you can create different headings and so forth. As you do each one, you can click on it and then edit how you want to. You can simply type in, type in here whatever you want to say and format the text however you wish. Once you have done setting up your newsletter in the format that you wish to do, you can then click save and this would save your newsletter and then you can choose to send it as a, at a specific date and time or you can send it immediately. If you choose to send it at a set date and set date and time, you can also come back and cancel it if you need to need to as well. Once the newsletter is sent, then you are good to go.